This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 194, Tuesday, April 26th, 2016. This is Brian. This is Lisa. This, this is the Anderson Penn's Radio Network. <laughs> Dead air. You're fading out there. Like fading all of a sudden out? you disappeared. No. Nope. Yep. I couldn't uh, hear you. All right. Um, so you're supposed to say that little part in the blue, but that's okay. Here we are. Um, Carl from Alamo is in the chat. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It's just been um, Carl from Alamo was the, um, for those of you who either don't know or don't remember, uh, a couple of years ago we were driving to Baltimore, um, got a flat late night in bad area of Chicago and ended up in um, Hammond, Indiana. And we needed a... Um, lift from Carl from Alamo car towing to um, take us and get four new <laughs> four new tires that was a memorable experience it uh, was. you know we did a lot of reminiscing um, was it yesterday day before <laughs> I don't remember yeah, I don't know where this is going so we're talking about the wedding oh the wedding yeah oh yeah <laughs> all, all week all week we've been talking about it <laughs> Actually, we were talking about all the things that went wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, yeah, that, yeah. In, in hindsight, you can it's it's easy to pick apart this little thing and that the the dress and the suit and uh, you know all that stuff that happened. Yeah, it was crazy, but here it is, six years later. I can't believe it's been six years. We're going to celebrate our anniversary on Sunday at the show. Uh, we are. Um, actually, we're going to celebrate early, um, yes. because by Sunday we're going to be too exhausted to actually do anything about it. Um, you mean open your pen. Uh, you have one too, by the way. I know, but I don't think I'm nearly as excited as you are. Yeah, you just like, well, I got to have something. I don't have a mobile, <laughs> so I will take this one. <laughs> I'm just like a day in bed, and. Um, I would just like to sleep and then like have somebody make me dinner. But yeah, you know. I'll take a pen. All right, okay, because <laughs> that's what you're getting. <laughs> I, I think I am. Yes, I've picked it out, and uh, Brian actually moved the box that contains his Arco uh, from behind his monitor, where he could only see part of it, to in front, to like front and center in his on his desk I think so that we don't forget it well I can I can see this completely happening we get there and we're like okay great where's oh you know, it's on your then, desk yeah and then and then calling Chris and telling Chris to, to bring them one bring our presence <laughs> um, so, um, no so do we want to mention what those are I mean, just I mean we talked about we're, them already. we're gonna so. get to that oh, we're gonna get to that okay yeah what do you want to do first the excitement or the show um, it doesn't. I guess the big news of the week that the show's coming up. So let's let's yeah. talk about the big news of the week. Um, we announced yesterday, of course, and for those of you who are in Atlanta two weekends ago, um, you did notice a, a a different selection of pens on the uh, on the table um, with a very craftily written uh, sign. <laughs> um, for uh, some sailor specialty nibs. Um, and you may have wondered where those came from. M maybe you didn't, uh, and, and perhaps people don't know. Um, in order to get sailor specialty nibs, which include Naganata and Nagahara nibs, uh, it's actually a completely separate retail dealer agreement, um, and it is only um, it is only offered to up until about a month ago uh, the top two sailor dealers in the country. Um, we have been offered and of course accepted um, oh, heck yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the third spot. So uh, yesterday's announcement was um, uh, AP uh, being a B sailor bespoke dealer and uh, we should define bespoke as what? Oh, I was waiting for you to chime in. Um, oh. Made to order, essentially. It's, it, I mean, it's 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 part of what it is, but um, 
very specialty, very special nibs and special bodies. Yes, the bodies. Some of these are really cool. I wish the ribbed was smaller. Um, and so some people may not know that. Most people will know it as um, the, um, the, the cross, nibs. Right, the cross or the concord or the king eagle or the food day. Um, yeah, some of those are really cool. Uh, but let me let me show you one. Here's one that I, I particularly like. Um, I the, love these. The, the, yeah, I, and I, I have one. The uh, this is the Pro Gear ribbed. Didn't I buy uh, you one in Chicago a couple years ago? You did, as a matter of fact. So I that think it, that was very generous of me. Uh, and it comes in uh, a Pro Gear version, black with gold trim or black with um, um, rhodium trim. Very nice looking pen. It comes in a 1911. Um, and here's a, uh, I'll show you a real close up of the pattern. It's really cool. Um, this is off of the 1911. But I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's, it's comfortable in the hand. Um, just really a, a cool pen. Um, I love mine. I have an older version with the, uh, with the semi uh, flat top on it. Um, one of the one of the pens we were, I, I guess I'm just going to say most excited about was the uh, the Ebonite King of Pen. We have so many people who ask for that, and now we finally um, can get it. We've got two. Two of them, yes. We have. So, well, uh, we have one. <laughs> We have what? We have one. Oh, that's right. We just sold one. No, we have two. Uh, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> um, these are great pens. They're, they're super light. Um, they're they're large. They're Montblanc 149 size. But Ebonite, I mean, oh, they're just wonderful. And, and Sailor does this great thing. They put a, a little um, a liner on the inside of the cap. So when you post it, it doesn't mar the finish uh, on the end of the barrel. But... Um, Ebonites are great. The black and rhodium trim is just so, so beautiful. Um, uh, but we do have that. That's great. Um, I, you know, I, I have to tell you, um, as long as we've been doing this, we were shocked and in complete disbelief when um, our sales rep, Scott, called. And uh, he, he first he called and he said, um, you're – We'd been talking back and forth, and uh, I went downstairs to the store, and then I came back up, and, and he called my phone, and he's like, you're in. And I'm like, I've been here all day. He's like, no, you're in. And I was in shock. I was I was literally, you know, on the phone with the phone to my ear and, and like, my hand over my mouth just having a hard time breathing as he just kept talking and talking. And then I went downstairs still on the phone, and I just said, you, you got to – you just have to talk to Brian. You have to tell him. He won't believe me if I tell him. And Brian's on the phone, and he's jumping up and down while Scott's telling him. I, I am not ashamed to say we were giddy like school kids. Uh, it, it was really a, a, a good thing there was nobody in the store because I <laughs> what the heck was going on at that very moment. Because I've got uh, tears running down my face while Brian's on the phone because it's starting to sink in. But I, I'll tell you, it took about a week. We just kept randomly for the next couple of days looking at it at each other, going, "We're bespoke." Yeah, and it's uh, it's a big deal, and um, so now there are only three um, three dealers in the country, and um, and there's a lot of cool stuff. It's just so, I mean, the, the catalog is is how many pages long is that catalog? Is it like twenty eight pages long or something like it's, that? It's it's crazy, it's massive. Um, and, and the pens are there's a Rushi King of Pen, which are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pens. Um, Thank God they do not come smaller because I would have to have one. The blue Arushi is just drop dead yes. gorgeous. Even the lilac, and I'm not a huge purple person, but the lilac is beautiful. The green is gorgeous. There's an orange and a red and a crimson, just absolutely breathtaking. I'm yeah. I'm I'm grateful because we'd be broke if they came smaller. 
Well, they're they're working on that. So um, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> uh, it's bad. It's bad enough, right? So I mean, but they're, they're beautiful pens. The limited editions uh, when they come out every year, um, those are now available to us. I mean, it's 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 insane. It's insane what that what what that opens up. Um, um, but um, there are a couple a couple cool nibs that we have. I just want to show these to folks. Um, uh, one of my one of my favorites, uh, the Fude, the Monin. Um, this one that constantly looks like um, like it's broken. Yeah, like you dropped it. It's <laughs> turned up at the end. Um, I actually have one of these, and I'm going to remember to bring it to the show. Uh, great pen, um, brush strokes on the lowest setting, and um, um, when you tilt it upward, it is uh, very fine. Um, so you can get a just a range of, of line width based on how you hold the pen. It's sort of like a zoom, um, but a little bit different. Um, you flip it upside down, you can write with it upside down. It's a, it's a it's a cool pen. It just looks the nib just looks neat. Um, yeah. So we got one of those, but I think the winner, and I think this this shot is really what a great great image. Brian uh, and our photographer have been working together. Um, ever since we um, placed our first order and uh, just been having a lot of fun with, with the nibs. Um, in this picture, if you look, you can see that there's an extra layer on top. It's yeah, really so they, cool. Yeah, especially, essentially they, they, they weld another layer of gold on the top and then they slit it. So the tipping, if you look at it from the front, it's really hard to catch uh, in, in a picture. Uh, it's four, it's a cross. It, it, there's four times essentially um, that make up the tipping of the nib. But uh, and and of course they engrave the top. It's beautiful. It's just really yeah, um, really really nice work. So um, that's you know I don't want to get too much into it tonight. We could talk about it forever. But it's it's just really fun. We'll have all the stuff in Chicago um, and uh, just we're, we're really excited. In fact, I have a, uh, I happen to have a, what would now be officially considered a bespoke pen, a, a, a king of pen in black with rhodium trim, uh, which we do have uh, in my pocket. I've got a food day here, so um, it's fun stuff. fun stuff. It is, and I, I feel like we seem tired tonight. We've been packing all day, but um, quite frankly, we have spent the last month getting the back end of the website ready. We revamped all the sailor. Uh, standard descriptions and images and all that and and we spent all this past weekend um, getting as much of the bespoke stuff on the site as possible and and a, a tiny little part of me is just like if I hear that word one more time I'm gonna cry <laughs> yeah, I know. so I, we, should, we, should, day. <laughs> yeah. we should we should make the disclaimer um, real quick before we move on um, Nagahara nibs, which is anything uh, essentially other than the Naganata Togi. Um, and Naganata to Togi comes in three different uh, line widths, medium, fine, medium, and broad. Um, anything other than those three are not available. Now, we do, like I, said, I just showed you the picture of the cross point, uh, the Naganata cross point and the Fude de Manan. We actually do have some of those, So, but once those are gone, that's it. There will be there'll be no more until uh, Sailor Japan can actually get caught up. Yuki Onagahara is uh, is quite behind in his apprentice, um, so we won't be able to order those just yet. But um, and the Naganata Togi nibs, if we do not have them in stock, or the Nagan uh, the special bespoke bodies, are the minimum six month delivery. So uh, we're doing the, the best we can to get. Um, you know everything in house, but uh, it's it's going to take some time to really build up uh, a, a decent inventory. So, well, we'll do what we can. But we're having two, fun shopping. I will two just for the that. store. One, two, <laughs> yeah. two for the store. Yeah, I gotta have fun. testers, right? You gotta have you gotta have you know an Arushi King of Pen inked up so people know what it's like to write. With them. No, they can borrow one of yours. Good enough. Moving on, Chicago Pen Show. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, so uh, Chicago is this week already. And, um, it, you know, we, we say, oh, this show's our favorite or that show's our favorite. I, I will say that um, for two reasons, this is up there in my top 
three favorite shows. Top three favorite shows. We should have a little quiz. But what, what are your top three favorite shows? I love Dallas. Okay. Uh, is that number one, number three, number two? What is that? I don't know. I'd have to give it some thought. Okay. Um, that, um, don't put me on the spot another. right now, but I'll, oh. I'll get back to you on that. Nope. But, I mean, Dallas is an awesome show. But Chicago um, is probably – Probably Chicago is is my favorite um, because number one, <laughs> we got married there. Hallelujah! Finally, you said yes. Holy smokes! <laughs> and number two, it's three hours away. Yep. Sunday night when we pack up and leave, we're home in our own bed. Sunday night. It's like so cool. <laughs> it's the only show. We're actually home a couple hours later, and I love that. You know, this is my um, – this is the longest – this is the show I've been to the most. Um, I've been to seven – this will be my 17th Chicago Penn show, if you can believe that. Wow. Um, I have not been to 17 Chicago shows. I have been to a number of shows. But the, I have been to every show, including two, since, since 2000. Okay. Um, but I, I remember that uh, the year we got married in 2010, um, they came to the show organizer, the hotel came to the show organizers and apologized because somehow in printing up the schedule of events, some wedding ended up on there randomly and they were confused. And, and Don Levin had to kind of let them off the hook and say, no, 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 no. It's supposed to be that way. We're actually having a wedding. And that first, uh, the year we got married, everybody was just so sweet and helpful and awesome. Um, it was great. I miss the Westin. I, I, you know, yeah. as, as expensive as it was, that was the real downfall. Um, it was. It was. A, it was a great hotel. It was a. It was the, the quintessential hotel for a show because everything was pretty much, with the exception of a few vendors on the outside. You know, the pandemonium being one of them. Everything's in one room. Yep. You know, so you can leave the table, but you can always still see your table. And the pens in, in in its heyday, Chicago was just insane. Now this year they're saying they have what 154 tables. 154, and I think at its high point, um, I listened to Paul Contrarado's radio interview, and I think he said um, they had 160 uh, back in the day when it was really. Um, really big, really active, one of the, the top shows. It it kind of slowly, um, I won't say fizzled, but it, it, it slowly lost a little ground to some of the other shows. Um, but uh, the last two years, uh, there are new organizers helping run it, and they're really working hard to beef it back up. A lot of things going on, um, a different hotel, and Justin in the chat says that the hotel is very nice. Um, awesome. Last year wasn't so great, but I mean, we, we did great, but it was it was rather disjointed, and so it was yeah. it was difficult to even because sometimes you like to be able to, like I say, you, as a vendor, you can't always get out behind your table, but if it's in the same room, you can kind of quick dash out and see what's going on and. Um, you Keep never your know eye on the table. table. Yeah, yep. but you can't do that when the other room is – there's two other rooms, and they're all the way across. You know, they're not even close. Yeah. Um, so, but like they say, that was uh, – it was the option to either to have a show or not have a show. So I would rather right. have the show because um, it is what it is. So. Sort of like Philly. In Philly, the um, – Organizers, the new organizers didn't have a lot of choice. They couldn't choose the venue. They couldn't choose the date. They certainly couldn't choose the weather. Um, but uh, I think last year, Roger and Paul did a, a good job with what they had. And they are both super excited about the new hotel. It's one big, huge ballroom and a little bit of an atrium. Um, supposedly, uh, loading and unloading is going to be very easy. And uh, they've got a lot of great stuff planned, including oh my ours truly giving a <laughs> seminar. All right, so I, I, I'll just I'll just I'll just throw this out there. I, I am not keen on uh, um, 
of standing in front of a crowd and, and giving a seminar. Um, even though I did two in um, in Philadelphia, and I have done, uh, I did one in, in Dallas several several years ago. Um, You're a pro. I am doing. I, I know, but <laughs> maybe I am. Uh, I am doing a repeat of my Philadelphia uh, show seminar on how to resack an ester book. Um, details are on uh, on our website, or actually on the, uh, the Chicago Pen Show website. We'll link you to the um, to our website. It's the easiest way to get there. Um, but uh, basically, uh, you get everything you need, including a pen to learn how to resack a lever filler. So it's a uh, it's about a. Yeah, I originally started as a 60-minute seminar, but it really, to, to do it properly, it, it was about 90 minutes. So uh, figure figure an hour and a half if it gets done you know, with questions and, and, and helping everybody out, but it's hands-on. Well, can sack. I get you back and ask questions? Well, no, because someone's got to watch the table. Oh, man. But uh, it's, uh, it's Sunday morning, 10.30 a.m. Uh, to noon. And um, so you get you, you get some shellac, you get some talc, you get a sack that you have to cut, and we we size it. Uh, the pens have already been prepped; they're in they're in nice shape. Um, you get your choice of extra fine, fine and medium nib. Um, it's a black LJ or a black SJ. There's no colors, no full size Js, nothing like that. But um, you know, people leave uh, with with a working pen that they can they can then ink up and use and. Um, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be cool. So, um, well, and Esther Brooks, um, one of the reasons I got into Esther Brooks was for exactly that reason. They're easy to fix and then they work. You don't have to fiddle with them afterwards. You don't have to mess with them. They're really low, low, low maintenance. And so if you can resack an Esther Brook, it certainly um, could lead you to doing other repairs for yourself. Well, yeah, and uh, and so that's a nice segue into a seminar that's on Saturday. Um, our our good good friend Cheryl Tyree of uh, Ink Pen, Joel Hamilton's brother, uh, is doing a seminar on sister? button and lever. Sister, I'm sorry, what did I say, brother? <laughs> you said Cheryl was the brother. Oh, um, anyway, um, doing a seminar on button and lever filler repair. So uh, button fillers can sometimes be a little tricky. So. Um, if you haven't ventured down that path, definitely check that out. That's she's she's a whiz and she's uh, got a wicked sense of humor too. So, so I guess there's my question. I was asking. I was wondering today if Joel and Cheryl are going to be at the show, and of course she's on the thing. So I guess the answer is yes. I guess um, they are. There's also it looks like uh, on Saturday there's also going to be a seminar on snorkel repair. So if you're interested in repair, um, definitely you definitely. Show. Yeah, you definitely sit in on some of these, and I know I know snorkels can be intimidating. Um, it took me quite a while before you know I read the books and I got a couple of different manuals uh, before I, I, I delved into it. But uh, this would be a good chance to to sit down with somebody and uh, and, and you know and, and work on snorkel repair. So. Well, and it's it's just fun to uh, just to watch somebody do it as well. Um, yeah, I, I still have a hard time with snorkels. I've never even tried to repair one. I, they just confuse me. I'm just going to go there, and you're going to leave it at that. I'm going to um, leave it at that. Um, <laughs> in, the, in a, go ahead. The, the show just has a, a lot of different things. Uh, Deb Basil's doing, no, yeah, Deb is doing uh, pens for kids. Uh, let's see. I'm looking at this. Uh, I guess I'll, let me finish up. Ron Zorn's also doing a pen repair seminar on Sunday. Um, so there's got lots of repair stuff. Deb Basil is doing a pens for kids seminar on Sunday at uh, two thirty. Um, she's also doing uh, italic calligraphy and American cursive seminars. So if you want to learn a little bit more or uh, improve your handwriting, um, those are. Definitely, she's a she's a really really a good teacher. So, um, so uh, those are happening. Uh, let's see what else. I'm looking at the, the seminar. I'm just bouncing around here. Um, you are, just like when you are in the ballroom when you finally get away from the table. You're just like, Ooh, I want to look over here, and I want to look over there, and I want to look over there. 
No, is, is it one? Is it one room this year? I think they said it's one room. Yes, it's one room, and then just a couple tables out in the atrium. Oh man, that's awesome! It's going to be awesome. And apparently, it's a big ballroom. So, so it'll um, be nice. And, and we're going to have a, we're going to have a special guest behind the table on Saturday. We are, and I don't think he has any clue what he's getting himself into. <laughs> I'm kind of excited about it. Um, our, our our very own Chris. Uh, from the store, who uh, some of you have uh, may have talked to on the phone or via email. Um, of course, since it's three hours away, he's coming down. I think is Dave coming down on Sunday? Maybe I don't know, but Chris is um, Chris is from um, Illinois, and his parents live pretty close to where uh, to Hoffman Estates, where the the show is, and so he's going down. And uh, I guess his mom has some. Um, his mom's got some hostas that have just gotten too big. And so Chris is going down and he, apparently if he's willing to do the work and divide the hostas, he can take some. Oh, and nice. she's got apparently like 20 something different kinds of hostas. So he's gonna go down and get some plants and then come to the show. And he offered to work behind the table on Saturday. Um, I, I'm not quite sure he knows what he's volunteered to do. I mean, he, he knows what happens, but uh, at a show, uh, at a busy show like this, it's going to be something else. So, but uh, it, it, Chris is a great guy. Um, and he's he's wicked smart. So, uh, stop by and say hi to him if you're if you're at the show on Saturday. So, absolutely. What else is going on? We got parties like every night. Thursday, pizza and and, uh, and soda party by uh, Judd Judd Pearl. Good person. The person, yep. Yeah. And um, let's see, Friday nights. Uh, Friday nights that uh, the the pen auction, uh, which I'm excited about. You and know, um, Terry is not calling the auction, which means I don't have to work the auction. I'm considering letting you go unsupervised. Sweet. <laughs> All right, who wants to sit next to me? <laughs> Jenny's in the chat. Jenny can tell you what it's like to sit next to Brian at a at an auction. Um, I make people buy things. <laughs> <laughs> that one auction was was great. I had stuff on one side of me. I had Jenny on the other, and both of them bought something. I'm not sure I bought anything at that auction. So, uh, I think you did. Uh, maybe I did. I don't know. I have probably some parts or something. Um, but anyway, uh, pen auction is on Friday, and I don't believe um, there's any pictures up on the on the website. Um, so it's uh, it, it, Chicago's always got good stuff, though. You know, it's 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 one of the big. Uh, I would say the big two auction um, shows. Uh, the other one being Columbus is is is, is quite large, um, but Chicago has always had an excellent uh, attendance at the auction. So eight to ten on Friday night. Uh, anybody wants to sit next to me, let me know. Um, love to have some I'll company. I'll pay you to keep his arms down and not raising the. Uh, not raising, not raising the, the bid card. Um, and a dessert party after the auction. So that'll be fun. Um, usually, uh, usually a good time. It's a long day though, but uh, you know it won't be too bad. I think because we're coming in on Thursday. Yes. Um, yes. Which is. And, uh, and getting set up and then you know we get a good night's sleep we don't have to normally we leave like at three or four in the morning or get up at three o'clock in the morning or something and it's 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 crazy so it makes it for a really long day although usually the auction has been on Saturday so this is different this will this means you won't be able to buy as much because we won't have sold as much this works for me <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a check <laughs> yeah 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 no the the Chicago show I'm really excited to see um, what Roger and Paul have done. Um, uh, Paul Contarado, one of the organizers, was on the radio. Was it W? I haven't had a chance to listen to you. I've got, I've got I, a book I heard, it. Um, I heard it. It's like he's on there for, I don't know, five or ten minutes uh, talking think, about it. Okay. And the, the um, DJ actually collects pencils and, and some pens. So that was kind of cool. Um, but uh, They've really, really been working hard, and they've got some ink testing stations um, that they bought from the San Francisco show. They're they similar to they, they're borrowing they them. them. Or, oh, they bought them. Okay. They bought them. San Fran is redoing theirs and doing it differently. So Chicago bought 
a couple of their testing stations and their um, pens that the caps are in this big base and the pen screws into that and the pens are pre-filled and each one I believe is labeled or there's a sheet next to it or something okay. uh, and so you can actually try the ink in the pen and then come over to us and buy it but it's the perfect way to um, you know you look at all these inks online you look at all the swatches and you're not quite sure which one you like better and you get to actually try them in person it's it's really a wonderful thing and partly sponsored by yours truly so yep. um, I think I don't remember how many we did uh, um, they sent us a, a list and we sent a huge them, list <laughs> I don't know, was it, was it 100 samples or something we sent something like that so, yeah um, but uh, it's it's really a cool thing so we'll, we'll see. It's, it's going to be fun. Um, I, I, you know, I, I've always had good luck. I found some of my best pens at the Chicago Pen Show. Uh, my very first show within, uh, my very first show in 2000, within 10 minutes, I blew my budget. I kid you not. Um, I found my so very first. So you the the weekend? I went over budget. <laughs> 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 I went out to the ATM in the lobby of the Westin and got more money. Um, but no, I found I found a pen the first ten minutes of the show in two thousand uh, that I never expected to find, and it was reasonable. And at the time, my budget was very small. Um, it was a Red Relief Two L. I still have the pen; it's quite delightful. And um, you know, I kept going. The, I think the next year is the year I found the uh, modeled hard rubber taper cap, uh, which. That was about 20 minutes into, into the show, and I blew my budget completely then. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, that was bef that was in the day where cash was king. So nowadays you can come and you can use credit cards and all that, that stuff But uh, for some vendors. But. Do we need to go over any pen show tips? Pen show tips? Um, you know, I think... Um, we're getting a little bit long up. here. Let's let's save that for for the DC show. Well, maybe we'll okay. revise our, our our show tips. Um, Comfy shoes, stay hydrated, ask questions. There you go. Yep, Don't you go. bring a big purse or a big book bag. No, uh, keep, at least keep it up in your room or something. Um, yeah. So, uh, quick recap: a show sort of informally starts on Thursday. Um, not that many people will be there. Not that many people will be there. So I mean, if you're if you're in the area, it's two to ten. Uh, pizza parties at seven. Uh, Friday is is going to be a little bit busier. Um, uh, eight to to five thirty. Uh, auction preview starts at noon. I mean, it's rumored to be uh, a big. There's a big collection of some, uh, including some modern stuff. Mont Blanc uh, limited editions and writer series are going to be in there. Um, Auction is at eight, um, so that's going to be fun. Saturday, uh, general admission nine to five thirty. If you're a weekend trader, you can you can get it at eight, I believe. Um, and Sunday is nine to four uh, with a weekend trader wow. at eight. So um, yeah, we actually nine to four. We're good. We'll be home by. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, we'll be home unpacked and in bed by midnight. That would be great. Um, three day pass. Uh, you run down on the on the prices. Um, full weekend registration is sixty bucks. It looks like three day pass is fifty. I don't know what the difference between the two is. Um, ten dollars. Uh, well, yeah, I don't. I don't know what ten bucks. I don't know what ten bucks gets you. Um, in other words, a pay at the door Saturday and Sunday is five bucks each. So apparently, if you want to get in on Friday, you have to buy the weekend pass for fifty bucks. Um, I tell you, if you if you're gonna make it three days, it's worth the the extra the extra money. It really is. Um, Friday's more casual. Um, you can talk with people. Saturday's just crazy busy. Don't expect to get into thirty minute conversations on how to make the perfect N or um, you know this that or the other thing. Unless you're you're, you're talking with some friends over at a, you know uh, out in the lobby or something. It just doesn't happen on Saturday. So. Uh, so that's uh, that's that's the show, and hope to see see folks there. It's going to be fun, good time. Stop by and say hi, get a hug. Oh. Awesome, and, and bring me pens because I can't get <laughs> <laughs> coffee. <laughs> Big coffee. Um, what else do we want to talk about? Uh, uh, we wanted 
give a uh, congratulations and a shout out and a thank you um, to our employee group. Yes, uh, to Dave, um, and he may be there on Sunday. We'll see. I don't know what the schedule is. Um, they've been with us two weeks. Uh, two weeks. Jeez. Two years. <laughs> I need to go to sleep. I'm making making mistakes tonight. Uh, two years. Uh, Sunday, as of Sunday, and mm -hmm. um, uh, Dave's just awesome. That's all I have to say. We couldn't do what we do without him. So and. Uh, and Dave and I had lunch today, and that was uh, to celebrate, and that was fun. So we, we may have slipped a cold malt beverage in on the middle of the day. <laughs> he didn't want to, and I said, listen, if you don't, I can't have one. So he said, okay. <laughs> so you forced him into having a beer. I forced him to have a beer in the middle of the day. Okay, well. He, he, um, he choked it down. Choked it down. But uh, Dave is incredibly knowledgeable, incredibly patient. Um, he's great with customers. He's a zillion times better at customer service than I ever would, could have been. Um, he keeps us sane and organized and um, helps with the rest of the staff. Um, it, it's just awesome. Yep. So, so thank you, Dave. We love Dave. Yep. We sure do. Uh, what else? Uh, are we going to touch on anything else? Are we gonna I think that? that's it. That's Try it to keep it week. fairly short. And uh, we've still got laundry and packing to do here at home. And then uh, tomorrow is the long, um, big push to pack the rest of the stuff. So awesome. Um, that's it then? That's it. All right. Uh, use your pens. Write to us at Anderson Pens, 10 East College Avenue, Suite 112A. Appleton, Wisconsin, 54911. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Periscope, and other social media as Anderson Pens. It just keeps getting longer and longer. Well, Some days more take, social media. Someday it's going to take 10 minutes to get through that statement. Blog is blog.andersonpens.com. And the website is andersonpens.com. Uh, thanks for listening to the podcast. We will see you in Chicago, and uh, have a good night, everyone.